السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ربی شرحلی صدری و یسرلی عمری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی ربنا زدنا علما اللہم فقہنا فی الدین اللہم انفعنا بما علمتنا و علمنا ما ینفعنا و زدنا علما والحمدللہ علی کل حال So uh, I hope you all are doing well. So um, we are going to start um, by uh, doing some review, inshallah. So um, we just mm -hmm. okay so i did not get any questions from um, all of you so we will just uh, go to um, uh, review inshallah today so um, let's um, one second um, let me go to my google doc uh, for that to uh, Okay, so last, uh, during our last session, um, and there was a question about how we can identify fail. So we briefly went over that. So um, if you can all um, type in your chat box the answer, it is going to be, you know, you're going to tell me it's true or false. For present future tense, for present future tense, we look at uh, the beginning of the word for the sign. True or false? Okay. For the past tense, since it has already passed, we look for the sign of the past tense at the end of the word. True. True, yes, right? We have to look at the end of the word for the past tense and for present future tense, which is mudare in uh, Arabic, Uh, we are going to look at the beginning of the word. So um, what is the default number in Arabic? The default number is singular, right? Remember, we did it. Yes, Alina, Muf Iban, or Mufrad in Arabic, you can call Mufrad. Very good job, Mavra, Aisha. Very good job. So the default number, if anyone asks you, if you look at the word, And if you don't see anything um, that we have done uh, during a previous session, you are going to, uh, you, you're just going to say that, you know, my default number is one. So probably, you know, it is going to be singular or one. Okay. So true or false, every word with any ending is dual. Why? Can you girls? Yes, it is false. Not every word with any ending is dual. Why is it false? false. Ranaz, Manahil, Maryam, all of you have correctly uh, typed Rahmani is an example of a word that has ani ending but is not do. Lisani, very good job. In Hadith, we learned the word Lisani, right? Ranaz, very well done. So Lisani was the word that you saw in your Hadith in, in your previous uh, session and uh, you noted that this is not um, a dual. Very well done, Lina. Mizani, right? So it, it was also there. And Alina, again, uh, uh, Subhani, very well done. So there are words with uh, uh, Ani and, and um, added to the end of the word, but, but those words are not dual. Very well done. Very well done. Wonderful job. Okay. So now um, in Arabic, there are three types of numbers like English. So listen to the question carefully. Yes, Arabic has three types of number, but does English have, uh, uh, um, uh, does English have uh, uh, three types of number? No, English only has two, right? Alina, very well done. <laughs> very well, Ma mashallah. Very good job, class. Very good job. Uh, so uh, the sound plurals, masculine sound plurals, 
can be used for inaminate hmm? can they be used for inaminate no very good job very bushra so proud of you okay i skipped one question here so let's just see the, the third question sound plurals are kind of um, similar to the plurals of the english language that end with s or es right so how do we make a plurals a regular plural uh, or a sound plural in english we just add s or es and in case of sound plurals we just add una ina right we have done that um, briefly during our previous session so i hope that you all um, remember that right so the last question is masculine sound plurals are inclusive that is to say we can use masculine sound plurals to address both males and females very well done yes it's true we can use masculine sound plurals to address both males and females very well done so it seems like you know you um, um it um, was well understood alhamdulillah so let's start um the rest of the numbers that we are going to do uh, today so um, adad is a term that is used in arabic for number so just uh, remember that um then um default number is singular usually the word will be ending with un sound or un sound or in sound muslimun mu'minun muhsinun muslimatun musliman mu'minan muhsinan muslimatan or muslimin so usually you will see that your word is ending with the tanwi okay then we did musanna and uh, who is going to uh, tell me what is the ending that we uh, look for when your word is dual or pair or musanna in arabic ani aini ani aini ani aini right like sahirani burhanani kalimatani unsataini hafifataini sakila taini habiba taini so you are seeing these words um in ani form in this hadith but these words um can also be um uh, can also end with um um any sound as well okay so keep that in mind and we have already reviewed that not every word with ani ending is going to be dual okay inshallah so three main types of plurals the plural word in arabic denotes three or more just keep that in mind your plural is three or more because we do have dual in arabic language right so the three types of plural that you are going to learn are sound plurals broken plurals and collective nouns okay three plurals jama salim jama mukassar ism jama okay sound plurals broken plurals and collective nouns so if, you know in a broad um, um, in a broader classification you will see three main types of plurals okay keep that in mind hmm? your sound plurals are called sound because the original makeup of the word remains sound the form of the word does not change for example in english when you add s or es for the most part you are not changing anything right you are just adding s or es at the end of the word and that you know your original word remains intact like when i make plural from box it is boxes and i just simply add es the spelling otherwise remain unchanged b o x and b o x is in boxes as well i just simply added es 
cow is cow and then just i simply added s at the end and made a plural so original makeup of the word remain unchanged in case of sound plurals we have gone over this last uh, during our last session um, you are just going to add una ina in case of masculine sound plural in case of feminine sound plural you are simply adding atin atun okay again um you are going to use masculine sound plurals for mixed group your group can include men and women so you, in quran when you will see uh, ya ayyuhal mu'mini uh, mu'minuna you are not going to assume that it is just, it, only men are being referred here okay it is inclusive of us too women are there as well so keep that in mind um your masculine sound plural um is used for beings of intellect feminine sound plural on the other hand when we compare can be used for both beings of intellect and inanimate objects is it clear so far okay so now um the next plural that we are going to learn is broken plural so what is broken plural unlike sound plurals they do not have fixed endings in case of broken plurals you cannot look at the word and tell oh this is plural if you see a word ending with vau noon or ya noon you can say that this word is plural right because you have signs that you've been taught una ina at the end of the word that is signifying that you know your word is plural but in case of sound uh, in case of broken plural you are not going to see any fixed ending these plurals are formed by changing the arrangement of alphabets or vowels within a single word example of such plurals in english are feet like your singular for feet was foot right so did the original uh, makeup of the word remain intact in case of um feet no right so you do your spellings completely change the plural for goose is geese so now your alphabet is completely changed from o from double o you are getting double e in case of plural the plural for mouse is mice can you you know it's not mouses right the plural for tooth is teeth your original makeup completely changed your arrangement of alphabet or actually your alphabets totally changed in case of all these plurals in english language similarly in broken plural the original makeup of the word is going to change there may be change in the arrangement of alpha alphabets or the change in the sign within the singular word okay there are 47 patterns of broken plural how many patterns of broken plurals are there i want uh, um i think um 19 people should write you should type alina very well done aisha faiza salako very good job yes there are 47 lina very well done 47 i you know there are 19 participants i need answer from 19 participants rana's very well done yes 47 patterns of broken plural so there is a huge list and we cannot memorize at this stage the huge uh, list of um, broken plural patterns right but we just need to know that there are 47 different patterns of broken plural okay these broken plurals can be further subclassified as human broken plurals and non human broken plurals okay everyone with me so far they can be further classified as human broken plural and non human broken plural so let's see the example of human broken plurals we all have heard this word rasul right we are all are readers of quran right so we have our we have our we learn about our beloved prophet rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam all the time so when you look for the plural for rasul that has been used in quran it is rusul do you think it is 
bro broken plural pattern or is it sound plural pattern rusul broken right b is good yes you can uh, faiza yes very well done everyone broken plural pattern yeah simple simple easy salako right so it is broken because rasul look at the spellings of rasul and listen to this uh, you know spelling of rusul your ra from fatha got dhamma now right so keep that in mind the plural for nabi the broken plural pattern for nabi is anbiya u so what kind of a pattern it is is it sound or broken very well done it is a broken plural pattern because the original structure got broken right it did not remain intact your word is not intact anymore in case of non human broken plural patterns you are going to see uh, or, or uh, examples of non human broken plurals you will see a word kalam we have a surah in quran uh, which is also called surah noon or kalam right so that surah um, has the word kalam the plural for kalam which means pen is aqlam aqlam so is it a, a sound plural pattern or broken yes it is a broken plural pattern kitab kutub is a plural used in quran for the word kitab what kind of a plural pattern it is it's a broken plural pattern right so because the original makeup of the word is completely changed kitab kaf in the singular form has what harka which harka kaf has kasra right but in the plural form you are seeing dhamma right so your non human broken plurals are treated as feminine and if you remember what kind of feminine it is going to be then just a small brief review from the previous session if your broken plural non human broken plurals are being treated as feminine barakallahu feek lina mavra alina it's heard feminine muannas samai very well done right it's heard feminine salako aisha i'm so pleased to see your answers barakallahu feek okay so now let's go to the third type of plural this is collective noun okay these are called collective nouns okay so these are the words they when you look at the word they appear to be singular okay why are uh, uh, i will get to your uh, question uh, dear ghazala just one second so ism jama these words appear to be singular okay ism jama they these words appear to be singular they but you need to know these facts about these words they do not have singular form but they can have duals and they can have plurals ism jama or collective nouns they are words that appear to be singular but they don't do not have any singular for themselves okay they can have dual or plurals they can have duals and plurals okay they have a plural meaning in that that they refer to a group comprised of many members when you listen to this word kaum which means a nation what comes to your mind are we talking about one person or many people many you know individuals lots of people right right many but if you look at the word kaum and i i, I don't tell you the meaning how does it look like does it look like a plural word it looks like a singular word very well then minahil right it looks like singular word it does not look like plural keep that in mind if i give you a word nas nas mean people is it uh, when you hear about annas people it gives you what kind of a meaning do you are you getting plural you are getting a plural meaning many people are being addressed or talked about right however if you look at the structure of the word how does it look like it looks like singular word right 
So keep these things in mind about this word. Same goes with current generation. In generation, it's generation is not comprised of one person, right? It, there are many, you know, members, right? To form a generation. Ahal, which means family or people. Um, and it's uh, it, uh, those um, people who are also, you know, uh, um, 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 together. So um, this is also going to be included in ahad. Okay. So whenever you look at this word ahad, your word is giving you a plural meaning. And same is true for the rest of the words. I will give you a word. I will. Uh, uh, I will give you an example of a dual. Uh, um, in in case of ism jama, fiatun is a word that has been used in Quran. Let me take you to um, Quran and show you an example of this word um, root. I have to go to the root and uh, here we are so that I can show you how Islam Jama can have dual. Okay. So. Have it. Okay. Okay. See if we get more guys before. Okay. Can you see this word fiatin here? Your word fiatin means group okay it is talking about a group of people right young men yes you can say that you know the the, the group of people okay and if you look at this word in from suwit ali imran verse 13 fiataini what's the number in fiataini aini aini fiataini now when you Look at this word. When we look at this word, fiatin or fiatan or fiatun, are we talking about one person? And so it is talking about group of people, right? Group or armies. Some somewhere it may be translated as armies or group, right? So. The word itself does not have a singular for it for itself, okay? But it does have a dual. Can you appreciate this example here? Is it clear? Word kaum. Now think about this word um, kaum. This word kaum has an ex has an plural for itself, which is aqwam. Kaum does not have a singular for itself, but it does have a plural. So if you can put these examples down for yourselves, it will be really helpful, okay? It will be really helpful for you all, okay? So that you can, you can go back to um, your notes in, uh, and you can see, you know, that, you know, what kind of word my, uh, my collective noun or my ism jama is, okay? So, piyatin is an example of ism jama that fits all, everything that fills the, uh, the bill. For example, it has a dual, right? But it does not have a singular for itself. And if I look at the word piyatin, it seems to, to me, it seems like a singular word but it is not singular. What kind of a word? It is a word that is plural in meaning, right? It is a word that is plural in meaning. So I will put it in the category of ism jama, okay? Same holds true for his hasm. Hasm is not something that we have seen in Quran that commonly, uh, but it is there. Then uh, jund, you have seen several times and it has a plural as well that uh, you can see, which is junood, okay? So it is an, an army. An army is, uh, when we talk about army, we talk about 
a person or many people? Army is comprised of a pe one person or many members? Many members, right? It has many members in it. So remember that, that again, word appears to be singular, does not have any singular though, but can have dual and plurals. And these are words that are plural in meaning in that they, they refer to a group comprised of many members, okay? I hope uh, you all have gotten some concept of this. There are words that I will really, really want you to um, memorize, at least memorize this table. And inshallah, um, I will send you uh, more uh, examples of Ism Jama uh, from Quran for those of you who are interested in memorizing, you know, more and they want to be ahead in the game, inshallah. Okay, so now, um, a brief summary, I have put the, this table together for you all so that you can go back and it is easier for all of you to understand how, you know, um, in my different, what are the different types of plural I'm going to see in my Musab, okay? Before I uh, review this table, does anyone have um, any question? Any question? So Sister uh, Ghazala had a question, why broken plurals are treated as feminine? You know, th this is kind of heard feminine. You will see in Quran, the, uh, how they are treated, is, uh, how something is treated is the, the, the adjective that is used for your broken plural, especially your non-human broken plural is going to be feminine word, okay? And this is, uh, the, uh, the, uh, you uh, it done in a way that Arabs have done that, okay? Because Arabs have done such, so that is why um, you know we we are going to treat um, the word the way we are treating, okay? Inshallah. So um, yes, monas samai. Yes, with ain. Very well done, Sister Zora. Very good job. Yes, it is Samai because it is heard, because people heard them doing that. So that is why they say that, you know, your broken plurals are going to be in the category of, um, of, of in the category of um, um, feminine, okay? Because they have uh, done so. Okay, now coming back to your sound plural, you have already understood that, you know, this is a plural, original word would remain intact. These plurals have fixed endings, just like in English, we have S or ES ending. For sound masculine, a masculine plural, um, we are going to use endings una, ina, una, ina. For sound feminine plurals, endings are atun, atin. Everyone with me so far? If I show you um, examples of um, this kind of plural, will you be able to identify lina? Inshallah, yes, Nahid, good to see you. Good to see those responses, alhamdulillah. So now, inshallah, very well done, Alina. So the next kind that we have just learned is broken plural. These plurals do not have fixed endings. Examples like in, in English, we have plural teeth for tooth, geese for goose. So we don't say gooses or tooths, right? Similarly, in broken plurals, the original makeup um, is broken down, okay? So examples of human broken plurals, rusul, nisa'un, niswatun, and non-human broken plurals, I have put some examples, aklam, we have already done that, and absar, just like your eyes, right? Ambiya was an example of human broken plural, very good job, Sister Bushra, very good job. Now, the last plural that we just finished is, was um, collective noun, I want each and every one of you to go to the previous slide uh, when you are re reviewing your notes, right? So when you are reviewing your notes, make sure you um, go back and you see what are the features, right? So these words are plural in meaning. They do not have singular, very important, but they do have, but they, but they can have plurals or they can have duals as well, okay? They can have duals as well, okay? They can have plurals and duals for themselves. So the next um, we are going to do is our Muslim chart, okay? How you are going to look at things in, um, uh, when you are, um, when it comes to your number, 
So your Mufrid board in your Muslim chart uh, that everyone should know, this is a table that I want um, each and every one of you to memorize. The, one, uh, the people who are going to be listening to the recording, I want them to memorize the, the, this, this table by heart. And the ones who are right here with me right now, live, each and every one of you need to know this table by heart. How many of you already know this table? Very well done, Sister Nahid. And it was easy, right? When you were uh, memorizing Faiza, it was an easy uh, table to remember, right? So, inshallah, uh, you are all going to, yes, Sister Ranaz, it is not going to be hard. And I will make you understand how you are going to do it, okay? So, you will start with your Mufrid, Muslimun, Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin. Your Mufrid is going to be Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin. Your dual is going to be Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimaini. Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimaini. Your plural. You remember your uh, uh, dual endings? Everyone remember their dual endings? What were those uh, dual endings before I go to um, uh, the plural? Ani, Aini, right? Ani, Aini, right? So you have Ani, Aini. Your plural endings now. Muslimuna, Muslimina, Muslimina. I want you all to look at this chart as you have never done it before. I know most of you um, may have already memorized it, but I, today I want you to uh, look at it um, my way, okay, inshallah. So we have discussed this when we were doing the number Mufrid, which means one. One, usually your word will end with a tanmeen, like Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin. There are three harakas, three harakas. Dhamma, Fatha, and Kasra, okay? Or you can say it, um, Dhamma will be Pesh in, uh, in, uh, from, um, from Indo-Pak standpoint, and uh, Fatha Tain is going to be equivalent of Zabar, and Kasra Tain is equivalent of Zair. If you have Indo Pak background, and which is quite all right, um, but if you um, now and you know start you to use uh, this fatatain, the matain, kasratain, it it will make things a lot easier, inshallah. Okay. So if your word is like Muslimun with tanmeen ending, what is your word? Is it dual or is it uh, uh, it is singular, right? What, what uh, um, very good job, Alina. What about Mavra? And Aisha. Ranaz, we are going to do that, inshallah. Inshallah, we'll, we are getting there, inshallah. Right? So, Mavra, singular, right? If you look at the word with ending with mean, your first guess is because my singular, um, I have been taught that my mufrid is going to be ending with mean, and my word. Uh, the number of my board by default is singular, so it's probably singular word. Okay, right? Aisha, with me so far. So Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin, singular. Right? Now comes your dual ending, and we have learned that ani, aini are going to be our dual endings. Right? If I ask you, what is an indicator of dual? You know what you are going to tell me? This alif. This alif is an indicator of my dual. Okay? Yes, my plural, my dual ending is going to be Muslimani. But this, what, what was the sign of dual? What is the thing that is the sign of dual here? This alif that I have I have highlighted for you, this is a sign of your pair. Are, are you all with me? Is this something clear? So if you are asked, we are going to do that Aisha very soon. Do, uh, we are not going to worry about uh, Rafa Nasabjar. Um, it's just the case ending, uh, how the word is ending. And it is uh, something that we are going to do um, in uh, next week or week from next week, inshallah. We are getting there, inshallah. 
Today, you are only going to be focusing on the rest of the table, uh, whatever is under Mufrid, whatever is under Musanna, what is, uh, whatever is under, under Jama. Okay? Yeah. No, no, no. You did not miss anything, Aisha. You, you are with us, I think. Yeah. No, you're good. So, we are not going to focus on the first uh, uh, column. We are going to just focus on the, la uh, on the second, third, fourth column. Okay? We are on number. We have only done gender, so we don't um, need to worry about uh, the first column yet. Okay, so everyone is with me so far. So what what was the indicator of your um, do, um, of a word being dual or pair is alif? The next indicator is ya. Okay, the next word Muslim mainly has a ya. Okay. The ya, if you look at the word muslimaini, and I asked you, what is the number? And you tell me, it is dual because it is any ending. So I will ask you, what letter, what letter is an indicator of your dual? You are going to tell me it's a ya. Letter ya is my indicator of dual. So what is noon doing here? Don't you all have this question? What is the function of this noon here, right? So keep that in mind. Your word Muslim, Mun, Mun. When you say this Mun, what do you say at the end of the word? Every Muslim, Mun, Musliman, Muslimin. How is your word ending? With the Noon. Can you see that Noon? You cannot see that Noon. But can, do you read that Noon? You, are you all reading that Noon? When you are saying Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin, you are all reading that noon. So this noon that was in your tanween now gets kasra in case of your duo. Okay? Yes, Aisha, your noon kasra was the noon that you were seeing in your mufrud is now here with the kasra. It's standing here with the kasra. Nahid with me so far, alhamdulillah. Seems like it. Alhamdulillah. So, whenever I'm going to ask you, how did you identify your word? Yes, you're going to tell me any ending, any ending. But when I'm going to ask you, let's break the word apart now. Let's go into each and every, let's dissect each and every letter. When you are going to do that, at that point, you're going to tell me that your alif, was the sign of dual. Your ya was the sign of dual. And this noon is actually the noon of your tanween that was in the mufrat, right? I hope you all are with me. Next, we are going to go to the jama co um, the column, okay? When you are going to look at this word, muslim, muna, how are you identifying your word being plural? Give me the endings. Give me the endings. Una ina, right? Now I'm going to ask you girls and I'm going to teach you all what is the sign of plural in this word? What's the sign of plural in this word? In case of Muslim, Muna, wow, very well done. Minahir, Alina, so proud of you all. So proud of you all. So you are going to, and this should be in your notes. It's not in, on the slide. This should be briefly, you know, this, my sign of my plural, sign of my dual. This should be all in your notes. You, everything is, you know, yes, it is, um, yeah, Aisha, it is highlighted, but you know why it is highlighted? You need to know in your, you, you, because it, there are no words attached to this highlight. So though I'm saying them right now, but I want each and every one of you to dissect your word when you are doing your, you know, review with me, inshallah. So inshallah for that, I want each and every one of you to put it in your notes as well if you, you know, if you um, want to uh, write it. And if you think that, you know, you may not um, remember it in, in future. So again, this noon fatha in case of plural, what is this noon fatha representing here now? If wow was a sign of plural in Muslim muna, ya was a sign of plural in Muslim mina, ya was a sign of plural in, in Last Muslimina, so what is this noon doing here? Can anyone tell me? Can we say that this noon is, yes, yes, Salako, very well done. 
Yes, this noon is again from the tanween that you saw in the mufrit, right? Muslimun, there you cannot see tanween, but you read that noon, right? You in the tanween, you do not see your noon, but you read that noon. It is there, it is there, but it is read, but not written. But in case of musanna, it was written with noon kasra. In case of jama, you are seeing it with noon fatha. Everyone with me so far? Twenty, two, uh, twenty, uh, one sisters. So I think uh, we need to. Um, I need responses from all of you. All uh, two Aishas, Ranas, very well done. Anila, very well done. Lena, everyone with me so far? Okay. So this Muslim chart is pretty much um, done here. Okay. So your Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin, Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimaini, Muslimuna, Muslimina, Muslimina. So this is um, what you are going to be doing until we have our next session, okay? Those of you who have not done it, memorize it like this, okay? It's, it's going to be super easy because you have taken the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there may be some, um, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, obstacles, your shaitan, your nafs might be, you know, distracting you, but, but, but help of Allah is way bigger right? Tell yourself, my Rabb is with me. He has brought me to this class or any class you are taking, any class you are going, any word that you are learning. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided you to his book. So you are going to make best of that, okay? And you are going to get best out of every opportunity provided to you, inshallah, okay? So Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin, Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimaini, Muslimuna, Muslimina, Muslimina, right? Inshallah, okay? So now, Muslimun ending Mufrad. Musliman ending Mufrad. Muslimin ending Mufrad. Because I'm seeing my Tanween here. Musanna, Ani, Aini, Aini. Jama, Una, Ina, Ina. So that is how we are going to do. And then we are going to, inshallah, um, going to dissect it, inshallah. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the next slide and see what is next for us? So when we were doing Muslim, uh, uh, women said that, you know, we are not going to be behind. We are also going to, you know, um, have our own table and their table is like this. And again, just focus on the last three columns. Forget about what is written on the first column, okay? So your mufrad is in case of Muslimatun or a Muslim girl, uh, Muslimatun, Muslimatan, Muslimatin. Everyone with me so far? You saw your tanween at the end of the word. So I gave you the proof that your mufrid word will most probably be ending with tanween. Not always, but for the most part, your word is ending with tanween. And again, muslima tun, noon, noon is there, being read, not written. Muslima tan, noon is there, being read, not written. Muslima tin, noon is there, being read, not written. Three forms, all of them are ending in tanween, and this is your singular. When you come to your musanna or your dual or pair, you are seeing now here muslimatani, muslimataini, muslimataini. This ta is very, very, very um, good friends with women. If you remember, if I asked you um, from our previous session, if your word is ending with ta marbuta, the chances are that your word is. Yes, Alina, very good job. Yes, Manahil. Feminine, your word is feminine. Which category of feminine it is? That is important, right? Feminine by sign. Feminine by sign. Because you are seeing a sign there, right? The Tamar Bhuta is a sign. If I asked you, if you did not know anything, why is this word Ism? Yes. Yes, Ranaz, all three are Muslims. Uh, Sister Ranaz, all three are Muslims. Just keep that in mind. This ending is showing the work that they are going to do in any given sentence, okay? And we will learn that in future, very soon. It's coming, okay? Your Tamar Bhuta is the sign that your word is in Islam. Any other sign? 
very good job meme at the beginning very good job that was also another sign that you learned alkans kaleem um, there is no al here dear it, muslimatun does not have any al um did somebody write tanween here rest yes so there is a tanween there that is also a sign of anism so it, how many signs this word has for a word to be anism in this case One, two, three. We we all know what, the first sign. If you you look at the beginning of the word, starting with mu, mim dama mu, very good, Gazala. Your word is ending with a tanmin, right? Your word is ending with a tanmin. The second sign, the third sign is every word with tamar buta is innocent. Every word in Arabic with tamar buta is innocent. Very well done, Alina. If you helped the whole class, mim tamar buta tanmin. Very well done. Now. You have to memorize Muslimatun, Muslimatan, Muslimatin. These are three sounds that you have to uh, read your chart into. And then comes your Muslimatani, Muslimatani. Now I'm going to break this word apart um, um, as well, just like we did for Muslim on chart. So in this case, what is telling you, just from the previous uh, slides, what is telling you that your word is a dual or pair? Yes, it is dual alif now. But if you did not, if you were not taught, if you were not taught what what I just told you, what ending that you were seeing that told you that this is uh, uh, your dual word, <laughs> you know, mashallah, mashallah. I'm look as is seeing, you know, barakallahu uh, fikum. Um, you all, mashallah. I'm very proud of you that you immediately are getting the concept, and I hope it stays with you forever and ever. Inshallah, inshallah, in your heart, in your amal, whatever you learn, it is shown in your amal as well. Inshallah. So your word was Muslima Tani. I'm going to now ask you. Ani was the ending that told you this is a dual word. In Muslima Taini, what is telling you this is a dual word? Aini ending, right? For now, aini ending. In Muslima Taini, what is telling you that this is a dual word? Aini ending. Now tell me what is telling you that this word is two, the number two, the number two Hamza. How do you get number two from Muslima Tani? Now comes your um, whatever you uh, uh, wrote before Alif. Your Alif is going to tell you that this word is dual. Your Ya and is telling you this word is dual. Very well done, Alina. Mavra, very well done. Alif, Ya are telling you in all these three words that this word is a dual. What is uh, Noon doing here? Noon Kasra doing here? Yes, no, and I think it's Hamna. Yes, Hamna. So your word is how is how do you know this is? Um, uh, uh, yes, the Noon is coming from your. Then mean salaku very well done. So you you know your muslimatun had a noon that you could not see, but here you can see your noon now. Okay, and in case of dual, in case of dual, um, you are going to see noon with fata or kasra. The noon that is replacing your your tanmin, the noon of tanmin is with kasra in case of dual. Kasra, very well done, very well done. Now, two problems solved. Alif, we have everyone has learned. Noon, everyone has learned in this word. What is telling you this word is a feminine word? It is kasra, just because you know um, we had to differentiate it from um, um, from the other. Um, uh, Um, uh, uh, part like you know uh, when we are doing Muslim chart, Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin, Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimaini, Muslimuna, Muslimina. Everything it was with fatha there. Okay, so just you know think about it that you know noon kasra is with for the duals, noon fatha is for the plurals. Okay, that is why you, if you have noon kasra, it is for your uh, dual. Noon fatha is for your plural. Okay, very well done. Lina, uh, Nosh, Sister Noshin, Sister Azra, very well done. So your ta there, your ta there was indicative of the fact that your word is feminine. 
so now everyone is with me so far it seems like what are the other signs of islam in muslima tani that you have learned with me what you look at the word muslima tani very well done minahil your meme your meme dear very good job so your meme dama your meme dama beginning is telling you that your my word is an ism now I come to the last part of the chart muslimatun muslimatin it's relatively easy you are just opening up your ta you are adding one alif and atun atin is the ending for your plural atun atin is the ending for your masculine uh, feminine sound plural everyone with me so far atun atin atin right so it's um, this chart is now well understood so if i asked you any questions about this uh, you are uh, going to be able to answer right alhamdulillah so and you are able to um, dissect each and every word of this chart as well i would imagine hamza minahil faiza right okay so next let's, let's go to the next slide so we have already learned this point that your masculine plural column will only be occupied by intelligent beings keep that in mind the intelligent beings include your humans jinns and angels everyone please note that if you have not already noted it is in your dream book you you just have to pay attention to this uh, point exceptions are there you know i would love you to find those exceptions if you read your quran and your word has una ina ending but your word is not referring to an intelligent being i will be amazed to see you know how you are paying attention to each and every haraka each and every letter each and every ending of your musa okay so but that does not mean that you lose the point sometimes you know what happens is that you are uh, doing grammar so much that even during your salah you are you know focusing on your so much on your grammar and you're thinking about oh this word is the same fail I, and i don't want you to do that yes i i want you to learn but uh, you know when um, make, make sure that you know you remain focused um, and pay full attention in your salah to what you are supposed to do so inshallah so now i will um, share one point with you um, um, that uh, th there's a famous grammarian sibowe so everyone needs to know about him okay he was uh, you know the, one of the greatest greatest grammarian of his time so he said that these masculine sound plurals are lesser plural and what is lesser plural that means that the, these sound plurals generally indicate a lesser number which is 3 to 10 which is 3 to 10 everyone understood this point or no sound plurals masculine or feminine they are lesser plurals when we are using these plurals they generally are uh, indicating a number that range from 3 to 10 because your plural starts from number 3 right and it goes up to um uh, it goes up to infinite but you know the sound plurals he said that you know it is generally representative of a lesser number which is from 3 to 10 this holds true in only those cases when your word has both sound plural and broken plural if sometimes your word will have two plurals three plurals four plurals in those cases if your word has a sound plural as well and a broken plural your sound plural will generally indicate a lesser number on the other hand your broken plural indicates a greater number jama kasra which means more than 10 how many broken plural patterns are there only maryam knows what about the rest of you it is kind of a complex id but just best just tend to um uh, go over the recording again if i could could not understand something and you know something was too hard for me i would you know not leave my um recording until i get the point and there was um a time when i was spending 6 hours on one verse honestly and that was um how um i learned uh, because uh um uh, that was um, you know sometimes things are okay 
so um okay so if your were again i'm going to um rephrase um if your word has both um uh, sound plural and broken plural okay sound plural and broken plural your broken plural will be indicative of greater number only out of 47 only four patterns are lesser plural in case of broken plural and i have put that those in you don't need to memorize them at this point but they will be helpful for advanced students because when they will be doing um their verses with me inshallah very soon that will be helpful for them because i'm i will be testing them on this concept inshallah very soon so for example if you see a word nabi there are two plurals that have that have been used in quran for this word nabi okay one we have just done ambiya right we just saw that you know there's it is a what kind of a plural pattern it is ambiya broken plural pattern then you will see in quran nabi yuna being used for the as a plural for nabi or nabi yina what kind of a plural pattern it is nabi yuna nabi yina sound plural so if i asked you to compare which will be indicative of or denoting a greater number the greater number will be denoted by ambiya or nabi yuna broken plural so we'll, uh, but, uh, but this concept only applies if your word has both both very well done i guess it is a great tip to remember that s is for uh, you know small so lesser plural yes is a sound plural and a greater one will be the broken will be the you know big plural it's a big plural everyone with me so far alhamdulillah okay so now that part, part we have already done okay then you yet there is another kind of plural and this plural denotes entire species it is called ism jins jam'i you don't need to remember you didn't need to remember each and every thing about it but this is a kind of a plural in which you will see your word ending with ta marbuta and ya your but your plural word is going to be formed just by removing that ta or ya ta or ya okay the fourth kind of plural that you are seeing here is ism jins jam'i okay jins means species okay jam'i means plural hmm? if you see a word that is made plural by just removing ta or ya your plural is going to be of category of ism jins jam'i it is an advanced concept if you remember it well and good if you don't i don't i'm not going to test you on that at this point okay so the singular the only point that you need to remember is the singular for this type of plural ends with ta marbuta or ya okay like bakara how what's the plural of bakara bakara okay arabi arab is a plural for arabi rumi room is a plural for rumi and you will see surah ar rum in quran you, you this one is going to be there in quran this word has been used in quran and this is a example of ism jins jam'i where you just remove the ya from the word and made a plural out of it here you just remove the ta from the word and you made a plural out of it is it clear ism jins jam'i though you no need to remember it at this point Now I know you are tired now. Okay, and then there are certain words. Um, you, you you even you don't need to know the names names, but um, and you just uh, need to um, know that you know some some words are uh, you know uh, are such that the singular and plural share the same form. It's the same word for the singular and plural. It can depending on the context. It um, it could be singular or plural. Okay. um and that is pretty much it um as far as our um work goes and i will have to end class here and we are going to do our review inshallah um and um, in during our next session on 
it's Thursday, right? Uh, on the, uh, no, it's a Wednesday. On Wednesday, we are going to review and we are going to practice. Please go through the slides, inshallah, okay? If you don't understand anything, go through the recording. If you have any questions that Sister Pfizer has already talk, uh, uh, typed, uh, that uh, put, it, um, um, put your questions in uh, your WhatsApp group. I want each and every one of you to be uh, prepared with their Muslim and Muslimatun charts. I'm very excited to hear from you. And that will be your day when you will be reciting the charts um, to me uh, during our next session, inshallah. So, um, and um, uh, with that, I will end the class. Um, yes, on Wednesday, uh, we'll meet again. We will do our review. Uh, we'll, uh, because I have not, uh, you know, um, uh, tested you on your, um, uh, on, on whatever we have done, uh, we have, inshallah, um, during this, that session, I am going to um, uh, um, do a, a, a good review with you. I will send you whatever I was going to do uh, with you for practice. I will send you that um, um, Google Doc and Sister Faisa will be sharing it with you and you can finish it and then we will do it together in class, okay? Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.